This game is huge for both coaches and both programs. Dick and I expect one player to step up and provide us with one shining moment in today's third round game between the USC Trojans and the Kentucky Wildcats. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Wildcats might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Finally, it's imperative that you win the battle of the board. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. He keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The power forward with the ball. Perfectly executed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. The center gets the pass. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They work the perimeter. Trying to go inside. He strokes it. Oh, yes. Working around the arc. The center gets the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Stolen pass. Hey, he read his eyes on that one, Brad. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. The small forward takes the feed. Hammers it down. it in great pressure great double team really explosive puts up the tray he gets the bucket to fall gave it up the small forward takes the pass there's a high screen sinks the shot Momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the left. They get that rejected. They push it up on the break. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Great anticipation defensively. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. The Trojans will step to the line for the first time. He makes it. For the bucket. For a 
perfectly executed. They look to get it to the inside. He fakes the shot. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, he uses the ball really well, too, in terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. Look at that spacing. He launches the bomb. He gets it to fall. Win is feeling great right now. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good close position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, 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 blah. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and the ball goes out of play. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's a foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Turns it over. This could be something special. There was no doubt about that one. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. From the top of the key. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Entry pass in the paint. He up fakes. With a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Both teams looking to get things going here. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. They work it around the perimeter. From downtown, he gets the bucket. Trying to feed inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He's got to pass it and make a play, Brian. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Goes to the free throw line. First one is good. And he got them both. Gave it up in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. It's stolen. Buckle up, folks. This could be nice. 
Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Shot to drop. Up, oh, easy one. The ball goes out of play. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. We're Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. For the bucket, doesn't go. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for a good shot. For two, USC are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looks at a three. He drains it. There's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Frustration right there. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Terrell fakes the shot. Goes up for two. In and out. Jumps into the defender. Both teams looking to get things going here. Intercepted. The ball goes out of bounds. Got a man in high post. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That's a 7-0 run. In the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. it inside 
Picks off the pass. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. He attempts the three. Drains the shot. Dribble gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket, perfectly executed. perimeter for two the land on the outside goes up strong but that's an offensive foul a oh, terrific job on a defense the people in the spot Mr. the best look they're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Steals a pass. Full court pass. Whistled for the foul. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Second shot is no good. Moving it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. And a slam. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. And the ball goes out of play. Two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Good fake. He looks at the hoop. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Fakes the shot. The kick out. He dials long distance. He buries the shot. Looking for a good shot. Ricks in the post. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Goes up for two. The Trojans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's a double team. Stolen away. Here they go into transition. For the bucket, he nails the shot.
That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Here's a flash from the post up high. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. This could be exciting. Backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. Working it around the perimeter. On the top of the circle, he hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Look at that spacing. And now they'll bring it up. Basket falls despite the contact. for a good shot. Looking for the foul. Up and in. Tempo rejects it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through him a second earlier. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Makes it. They've left him completely alone. He is just lighting it up there. He's beating his man for the spot and hitting the shots, Brad. It rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Would you check that out? He's jazzing it up with the mascot. Nicely done. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Doing a little jig with the mascot. He's got a high post flasher. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. defense here now. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. Gave it up. Nice fake. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He's open if he wants the shot. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. He is going to the line. Gets the first shot.
Both free throws go. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He takes the shot from the baseline. He hits it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks it. At the half, the Wildcats are trailing by six. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game, Dick. What's your highlight of the first half? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Kentucky has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He steps up to the line. Good. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They're working around the arc. Controlling the ball. Gets a hand in the way. And the ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stick. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get balled by Goya. He pump fakes. In the paint. He makes a nice shot fake. Pump fakes. Executes the baby hook. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Like it. Not getting enough motion on what that's in here on transition, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. pick there's the roll They're working around the perimeter ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man Kentucky are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great defense. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Nice 
isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Fake. The fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. It all goes out play. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. They get it out in the trip and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. And he's on fire. Moving it around the perimeter. The small forward receives the ball. It's stolen. Look out. Defender is smacked by that screen. Terrell handles the feed. There's the trap. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Gave it up. The point guard receives the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Nick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Great shot. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass the shooting guard handles the pass i tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box he hits the shot the trojans lead by six Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes away the pass. Working it around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Gets it back out. Picks off the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They scored eight in a row. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the elbow. He gets the shot to fall. The Trojans have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. And hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? For the bucket, the Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. That's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Up and inside. He puts up the tray. He drains the shot. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. 
Tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? At the foul line. First shot is no good. Gets it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. screen that deserves an encore let's watch it here there they come with a double team to stop it stolen ball look out here we go looking for a good shot Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside, Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Perfectly executed. Called off the pro hop. Nice move to the hoop. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Oh, what a hard screen there. Takes away the pass. Up and inside. He fires it up. He gets the shot to fall. He puts it in with contact and all. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The kick out. 
Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, down here on the sidelines, both coaches are harping at their players, telling them it's all about the little things. Take care of the ball. Take quality shots. The action and intensity has really picked up down here, guys. Everyone wants to see a great finish. All right, thanks, Aaron. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Intercepted. With a long bomb. Goes up for two. Top easy one. team right now just lighten it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. It sticks. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He goes for the trifecta. For two, knocks it down. Great defense. out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Gave it up. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Head up. You got to have vision. You got to see it. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time in one, baby. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Robs him of the ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. The tradition, the chance, the passion, all great. It's obvious these fans are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to cheer their team on to victory. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Picks off the lazy pass. for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He pulls the trigger. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Strips the ball. On the outside. He takes the three, brings the shot. Mm -hmm. 
The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones new knockers, Brian. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Break possibility. He drains the bucket. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you what, thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, but he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. The Wildcats are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. They're working around the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Trojans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Gave it up with the fake. Defenders right up on him. Working it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Sinks it. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle. And they also have the good entry from the wing. the dribble gives it up he looks for the bomb he gets the bucket they work it around the perimeter gave it up tries for two finger roll Gonna muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Kentucky are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. From beyond the arc, buries it. For the deuce, rims out. That basketball. Stolen ball. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 13. 
16. Makes the substitution back into the ballgame. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. Shepard steps to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Hits the second. Third one, good. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. And let's go back out onto the floor. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. He shoots from outside. Got it. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He makes the shot. Cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Takes away the pass. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. This time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. And a momentary look from three point line. Look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Follow them early and give your team a chance. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And the clock stopped with a foul. He'll visit the charity strike. Hits that one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Misses the second shot. T.O. called. Hey, we've got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking up. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Two with a lay-in.
We're about ready to start things up again. Throws it up, hoping for the best. The shot's off target. The ball game is going to overtime. This is what these fans want to see. Knock down, drag them out basketball, baby. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. College basketball fans have gotten more than they even bargained for this NCAA tournament because they get more for their buck overtime, Richard. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Does it get any better than this? You talk about awesome, baby. Overtime game in the NCAA tournament. Wow. How golden is that? Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. He sinks them both. That's basic. In the post. There's the fake. For the bucket. Off the mark. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the outside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Goes up for two. <laughs> Tries for two. High post screen. He tries the three. He can't get the bucket to fall. Takes the three-pointer. Knocks it down. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Fakes a jumper with the fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Ten on the shot clock. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. That's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. USC have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. fake jump hook from the low block I tell you great job protecting the basketball getting deep post position and the jump hook is so effective pushes it up he throws it deep looking for a good shot kicks it out fronts him first Dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect for saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us
might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. A kick out for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestle. This important possession if they want a chance to win. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. Gave it up. He fires from long range. Rims out. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. With a quarterback pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He fouled him. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He goes to the line. Have to make the free throw. They really need a score here to turn this into a one possession game. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Shot clock is dead. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Gets his first. Second shot, good. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. He unloads a three. He shows the sweet touch. Stop with a foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Lots of rim, but not in. He hits his second. It's a T.O., baby. Hey, it's nail-biting time. Where's my BT Fear? Who's going to step up and make the big shot? Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. He makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the second shot. Time out. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Oh, the pressure.
see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. This is the big time. And he's no good from downtown. They're going to give us another period, Dick. Hey, one more may not even be enough, Brad. These teams want this game bad. Add more time to the clock. We're heading to a second OT. Dick, we've done so many games over the years at Duke Carolinas, the Louisville Kentuckys, and so many more. And now, in an NCAA tournament game, multiple overtimes. You talk about drama. This is the greatest. I tell you, Brown, I know you and I love it. The players love it. The coaches love it. But isn't it going to be sad that one of these clubs is going to walk out of here with an L? They work the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That was awesome, baby. In the paint for the deuce. And he scores despite the hat. the outside here's a block from behind my man was on a mission intercepted defensively they keep limiting their chances he shoots from the top of the circle the Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple Five second count winding down. Great play to take that to the basket. He intercepts it. For two, perfectly executed. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was rocking on the box. Double team now. Bad angle. He attempts the trifecta. Drains it. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries the three. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Picks off the pass. He launches a three. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defense. Gave it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially. The defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do.
Hits the second shot. Timeout's call. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Shepard is trying to get the crowd fired up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Too much. That's a foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. First shot is good. Second shot, no good. Picks off the lazy pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. He sinks both of them. We've got a timeout here. See, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He looks for three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy who wants shooting the ball. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Gets the second. Shot clock is dead. Commits his last personal. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Up and in. Makes his second shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. That's probably why you're on a coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Second shot is good. He dials long distance. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Wildcats makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with after in the Elite Eight. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.